Hi my love, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life for those of you guys that don't know. Woo! So this is the reading for Sagittarius for the month of October 2019. One of my followers or one of us from the Bahati Vibe Tribe threw out a comment. It was the sweetest comment ever and they were like, Jess, please do the predictions for all of the month of October for each of the sun signs or for each of the signs. And the way that they asked it was so sweet though, so I just wanted to share. I wanted to share these messages with you guys. So I can't remember their name, but because of them, that is why I'm doing this today. But I really genuinely like it. And I can see myself doing this in the future. So if you like this and you wanna see more of these types of videos, then I'm more than happy to do them for you. Now, the cards that I have for you, Sagittarius, and this is a reading that's strictly 100,000% intuitive working with my cards and my feelings. These cards are not ones that I have seen yet. I'm gonna be seeing them for the first time. The reason why I'm working with intuitive, the intuitive aspect is because every week I come on on my YouTube channel and I talk about astrology, the astrological um, events that are happening that week that you need to know about. And I share that with the group, with the, with the collective. So I didn't wanna repeat myself. If you're not familiar with that, then I want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on your notifications, that way you can see that. That being said, let's go ahead and dive in. The first card that I'm seeing for my Sagittarius people are, or Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Rising, Sagittarius Moon, Follow the Leader, Ace of Wands, Four of Cups. I don't know why I needed to pause and look at that, but I did. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, change, what you'll find, you'll find what you seek, easy does it, spiritual growth, shield yourself, meditate, the earth fairy, which is physical health, grounding and foundations, and the weasel. Be silent, pay attention, and simply observe with your eyes, ears, and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you. Now give me a second because for some reason, I want to organize this and put the pieces of this together. First, before I dive into my intuition with this. It's funny because even as I'm looking at the weasel and as I feel called to put, make sense of all of this, all of your cards, I feel like that is what the month of October is actually going to be like for you. The Four of Cups usually is about boredom, discontent, receiving something, anything, and not saying yes to it, not wanting it. But for some reason, when I see the Four of Cups, this shows me, this brings me to the weasel and it brings me to shield yourself. And it also shows me this, this card of stay optimistic about your love life. So when I'm seeing this card, I, yes, of course, I see the message and I read the message, stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Sagittarius people, you guys are the poster child of being positive, um, keeping your thoughts, you know, optimistic, looking towards the future. Hey Google, please turn the music off. Hey Google, please turn the music off. Yo, she is not listening. Okay, what is crazy, what is crazy about that is that number one, she wasn't listening, and number two, I have on classical music, she switched it up to something totally different. And to me, that really is significant and symbolic. I, I don't know if you guys know, especially if you're not subscribed to the, my YouTube channel or if you're not following me on Instagram, I live in New Orleans, and there's a lot of spirit activity, and even as I'm sitting here trying to do the reading, there's a lot of things that will happen around in my environment that are acting as additional confirmation, additional messages. I literally had on classical music, 
to to help me to focus because that's what I like. Well, the next that song ended and then the next song turned on to reggae, which is obviously totally opposite of classical music and I did not ask her to change the music at all. However, that is what I'm seeing here <laughs> um, for you guys. It's really interesting. Okay, so I'm seeing actual change. I'm seeing an actual shift. I'm seeing that what it is that you have had and what your life has been looking like and what you've chosen for yourself for the month of October are things that you are seeing that they need to change, they need to evolve. This is really, you know when people say all the time, especially in the spiritual world, like change is good, change is good, transformation, blah, 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 blah. Of course, of course, but I don't, it, but sometimes we look at change as this incredible, you know, painful process. For you, for you, Sagittarius, I'm seeing this as this change is actually something that feels good and it almost feels right from the start. It almost feels very obvious and very clear. When I see the card meditate right next to the Earth Fairy, physical health, grounding, and foundations, then I see the Four of Cups. Then I see shield yourself and the weasel. The first thing that I see, and this is your animal spirit guide for the month of October, when we see the e weasel, he's very grounded. He's very pulled down to the earth. He literally grounds himself and sleeps in the earth. Then we have the grounding energy. Then we have meditate and the four of cups. This is about centering yourself, literally easy does it, not needing to force anything, no needing to rush anything to happen. It is what it is and being in this space where you are listening, you are listening and you are observing what's going on in your environment and that's going to show you, okay, this is a yes, this feels good, this is a change that I wasn't even asking for myself but as soon as I heard it, as soon as I saw it, I was paying attention to it because Jess, I watched this video and she was telling me to observe and to listen. That is the growth that is actually going to happen. When I see the card, stay optimistic about your love life, it's not that you aren't optimistic because as a Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter, you guys have this natural tendency and inclination to look at the bigger picture, to see things from a grand scale, to look on the bright side in a lot of ways. What is on, is that incense? That is an incense stick stuck in my robe. Anyways, so you're, I see you actually lifting this up this thing that sh that presents itself that prevails that you know shows up in your life and you say wow i would not have known to even ask this i would not have known that this is something that i liked i would not have known that this is something that i wanted if it wasn't for my discontentment if it wasn't for um me being open to this new energy this new passion this change that is happening around you is and these things that you're hearing, these things, these, no, these, um, I'm seeing notifications or notices that come through for you. They are asking you to be, to listen to them. They're asking you to be still and to observe it. And then to be like, yeah, actually, yes, yes. This is exactly what it is that I want for myself. I think the same thing that you think that you wouldn't like, or Let's say you're calling out to the universe, just like how I called out to Google Voice. And I'm, it's crazy that that's the metaphor, but it's the perfect metaphor for what it is that I'm seeing within your cards. Um, let's say I'm calling out to the universe or calling out to Google Voice and I say, Google Voice, this is what I want. I want classical music because it helps me to focus. It helps me to get my message across. Well, for not for Sagittarius, for you guys, we have to be silent, we have to pay attention, we have to listen. Sagittarius, for some reason, we are guided to switch. We are guided to change. We are not, we're just gonna follow, we're just gonna follow the advice. We're not going to ask questions on it any more than we need to. We're just gonna stay open to it. That's all about spiritual growth. We're going to stay, you know, open. When I say, say, when I see the word stay optimistic about your love life, it's not, you know, being negative. It's about staying open. Optimism is not saying yes, yes, yes. It's just being like, okay, I'm listening. Literally, that's for the month of October for Sagittarius. It's not about, you know, running and racing and, you know, doing all these things. In fact, by being grounded, by being still and still and centered, you will be called to, to change in the way that you need to. And it will bring life to you. It will bring understanding to you. It will bring confirmation, clarification. Everything that it is that you are looking for is something that you will receive 
if not in this month, then for the rest of the year, but it's not about racing towards it or forcing it. It's about following the signs, listening, observing, and then when you are called to change, to change the way that you are called to, even if it's light, even if it doesn't seem major, sometimes the change that needs to happen the most is not the most drastic. Sometimes it's, again, a change in the music, a change in your environment, or a change internally that makes you switch up. It ignites your heart, it ignites your passion. Because even with the Four of Cups and the Meditate card, and the weasel, be silent, pay attention, simply observe with your eyes, ears, and physical feelings what's happening inside and all around you. That, and then we have grounding, physical health, grounding, and foundations. You are going to be shown in that, it's not even quiet. Sometimes we think meditate, when we hear meditate, meditate, we think, okay, I'm gonna silence everything, I'm gonna quiet everything. But sometimes it's not, your meditation is not quiet. Sometimes it's, you know, listening, but listening and hearing something differently that helps to guide you because it's not always one way. If you keep doing one way, you're always gonna get the end result. But switching it up, easily switching it up is what's going to help you to find exactly what it is that you're seeking for yourself. Now, when I'm seeing the card shield yourself, instantly when I see this and I feel this, I want to pull this card, easy does it. So when I see shield yourself, I feel like this is a wounded person who, again, has learned to do things, certain things a certain way because of their circumstances, their environment. But at some point in their life, in order to get to a different direction, in order to get to a different outcome, you have to do something differently. And the way to do that is to listen and be called to follow the leader, to follow something different that is going to guide you. Pay attention to them, watch them, observe them, because they are going to show you and this is not something that is going to be drastic. I mean, it's not gonna be something that's going to always be you know, totally drastic or totally dramatic or totally like, okay, this is going to make sense. That's gonna be a part of your evolution, a part of your spiritual growth. Not all of your change that is going to happen is gonna be something that is going to be super painful. Sometimes it's a slight adjustment. It's gonna be a slight change in your perception, a slight change in how you view things and how you view yourself or the music that you're listening to. But that's a part of your spiritual growth. And there's certain, um, in the spiritual world, there are going to be certain guides that approach you in the way that is most effective to you, is going to get their point across. And that's what we see with religion when you know sometimes we see um, Buddha come through and he was the messenger for the divine. Sometimes we see um, Jesus come through or maybe we see um, an, an animal power spirit, like a spirit guide, an animal guide. Or maybe we hear a child, and that child teaches us so much about ourselves, and that's a part of our spiritual growth. How your spiritual growth is going to happen is not always in the same way or the way that others will expect it to be or how you expect it to be. But it's going to show up because that's how spirit works, that's how your guides work and how the divine works, it, it will show up in the way that it knows that you are going to receive the message and you're gonna grow from it the best. And the only person who knows that is the divine. The only person who knows that is your internal truth. But you have to follow that, you have to listen to it, you have to be quiet and listen to it and at least stay open. When I'm saying, when I see stay optimistic, it's not that it's like, okay. Optimist, being optimistic means that you're open to what can happen. You're not gonna just instantly shut it down. You're just like, okay, I will consider it. So for the month of October Sagittarius, consider the fact that there is gonna be some change that needs to happen. It's not gonna be totally drastic. It, in fact, this card, Easy Does It, shows you that this change following this music, following this what you hear, following what you feel, what you see, what your heart is pulling you towards, what is igniting you, what is making you feel passionate, this excitement, this energy, is like a little fairy, a little beam of light that's gonna guide you exactly to what it is that you've been seeking this entire time. But the way that you've been doing things, the way that you've been thinking that you need to do things is probably not going to be the way. So stay open to that. Stay open and listening and pay attention because that's it's spiritual growth that is happening here, but 
But sometimes when we see spiritual growth, we shudder and we shield ourselves because we're like, no more pain, no more suffering. Who told you that spiritual growth is always painful and always suffering? Who told you that? That's a belief that is not true. I know for a fact that some of my most profound spiritual moments were not in moments where I was in the flames, but of moments of pure bliss and pure pleasure, moments of love. I've been so profoundly tr transformed by love, by vulnerability, by softness, by encouragement, by listening to people who were silly and playful. So your spiritual growth is not always going to put you in this space. See how open she is? She's just open. She's not asking, she's not forcing. It's light all around her. She's being enlightened. It's gonna come through. Ace of, Ace of Wands is that passion, that igniting. Ignite, ign ignitation is what I'm gonna call it. You're just being ignited up. You're being lit up. You're being excited again. You're feeling passion again. You're feeling pulled. You see the spark, you see the light, and it attracts you. That's what's gonna help you to get to what it is that, whatever it is, that you're, it is that you're seeking. So stay open, I, AKA stay optimistic. Don't shut it down. She has different options here, but she's just weighing it out. Connect within yourself, listen. Meditation is not always about you know being silent all the time, but it's like paying attention, paying attention and, and your intention to allow for you to receive the most, to allow when it comes to clarity, peace, and direction for yourself. Change sometimes is not something that happens overnight. And um, when you do experience change, it's not always something to, that you should expect to be painful or drastic or dramatic. Sometimes it's a soft change, a light change. That's what's guiding you right now. Okay, especially with the earth angel and the weasel. We have so much earth energy. So interesting to me. Okay, Sagittarius, so that's my reading for you for the month of October. I hope that it resonates. I hope that it finds you with perfect timing. Thank you so much for sharing this video um, with your friends, for your, with your family, for sharing your own experiences down in the comments. And thank you for, you for you subscribing. If you're not subscribed, I want to invite you to subscribe because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I do weekly ast astrological event pulling, like chart pullings all the time. And I share messages all the time and information on my YouTube channel. So it would benefit you to subscribe if you would like to, if you're called to. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.